Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're playing Material Energy 3 and we're going to be setting up an auto charge discharge for the solar generators from Extra Utilities. <laughs> Don't hate me! Almost forgot. Um, you get other names caught in my head. So, in um in material energy starting off eh, kind of starting off is you get up to four um generators and one of the things you do you can do is set up a way to manage them one of the easiest setups to do is um well you can pretty much set it up anywhere uh, an interesting one is to set it right on top of it. But to turn the um, solar generator from charge to discharge, so right now it's charging, in order to set it to discharge mode, we need to apply a redstone signal. That's as easy as that. So now they're set to discharge. They take a few seconds to switch over, that way you're not going back and forth and causing all kinds of server um, problems. and right there so now it's charging during the daytime when it gets nighttime and that gets kicks off there you go so but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the ability for this to change based on um, the circumstances that it has so the first thing we want to do is we want to be able to detect how much power is in the generator so we can do that by applying a comparator. Now if you look at the output of the comparator, right now it's at a one, it's still charging, it's pretty low, but as it gets up, power will increase all the way up to 15. And what I wanna do is I wanna add a block to there. And then um, I need to add a way for it to um, discharge completely before charging again and the way to do that is um, I'm going to use a dropper here and then a hopper here and then I'm going to apply um, let's see here we have a redstone torch and then down here we have a comparator and let me get all this stuff set up and I will show you what's going on here <coughs> so while this comparator is greater than zero it will lock this hopper what that means is if you apply a signal here so there's the the cobblestones in there now I applied a signal now the cobblestone got ejected over to this hopper over here now since the hopper is currently getting a signal the hoppers locked here until the it discharges to zero so once this completely discharges this will go to zero so this um, signal right here so right now it's at two once it fully discharges it will go to zero and then it'll push the cobblestone back over into the hopper which will apply the comparator here and turn this redstone uh, signal off now what we want to do is we want to be able to um, set this automatically so whenever um, this gets full, it will kick it off to discharge completely. Now one of the things that I need to do right off the bat is I need more room to work. One of the joys of Builder's Wand. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to take the signal out of here. We want to apply it to... Um, a block here is it a block 15 yeah and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a dropper here and then a hopper into the dropper and then what we're gonna do is we're going to um, set another comparator here another dropper here I'll explain that in a second 
we want a block here, comparator here, and another block here. Okay, so, and then we need just a, a piece of something in there. So the other thing we need to do is we need to um, get this redstone signal up to um, 15, up to 14, not 15, sorry. And don't forget to set that into subtraction mode. So the easiest way to do that, cheapest I've found, is um, wooden shovels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then um, I make pies, so half a stack of eggs usually does a trick. There, now we have a signal of 14. Now what that's gonna do is this comparator right here is outputting a signal of 14. So in order for this to apply a redstone signal, um, this has to be 15. And to simulate that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a redstone signal. Now currently, the cobblestone is right here, so this torch is turned off. So let's go ahead and apply a signal. So there. So what happens is this went to max, which applied a redstone signal. This is only going to be a 1. But what that does is that ejects this up to um, the hopper, which gets an output over here which triggers this cobblestone to go over into the hopper. Now since there is a power of 15 here this hopper is locked and not going to send the cobblestone back until this finishes de discharging over here. So that's two components. So one component was discharge until empty. So the other component that we just added was um, when this solar generator reaches max full it's going to turn on the discharge. So let's um, back to day again. Okay, so the next thing we need to add is we need to add a daylight sensor. So what we want to do is the next thing we want to do is we want to, based on the daylight conditions, we want to uh, apply a redstone pulse to this um, dropper right here so it kicks off the discharge. So what we want to do is, let's take a comparator there. Um, we're going to take a dropper one block away with a hopper pointing into it. We're going to go ahead and apply it, add a cobblestone in there. So the next thing we want to do is, based on here, so we're going to go like this, add a redstone torch here, which is going to trick, kick that over. But the next thing we want to do is, where are we at here? We need a redstone signal and a daylight sensor there. So now that's at 7, going down there. So when this reaches um, 0, or nighttime, we need to set it to night. So now that just kicked that over and kicked this on over here. So let's do that again with... Um, So, the, so right now it's in charge mode. So let's go ahead and set it to day. And then we set it back to night. So now it's kicked back into discharge mode. So the, now there you have it, is the ability to charge and discharge your solar generators automatically. And I hope that helps out for you. The next thing you can do um, which is a bit more challenging is you can take a redstone signal out of this and again we're going to go with the um, a distance of 15 and then um, we're going to need to again input a signal of 15, 14 rather. So oh, we needed the eggs, so we'll go ahead and grab the eggs and drop these over the side. Shovel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. There's that one. Set that in subtract mode. So if this is full, 
we want this to be in charge mode no matter what. So what I want to do is we're going to take a block there, since it's not full, it's very low, <laughs> and um, let's take a redstone here, and we will go with a repeater. And then this is going to go around to here. So as you can see, so are you on? That's powered. Okay, so let's, are you, you're empty. So let's go ahead and give you a charge mode. I want to verify that this works. I'm going to show you that it works. So now that's at a signal of 15. So now it's set it to discharge. Now, if I had a full energy cell, So now out of here, so maybe in the daytime when this fills up, what this will do is this will ensure that these are also full at that time. So now you have a complete system, fully automated, self-correcting, whatever. <laughs> and I hope that really helps you guys out. Um, I had a fun time figuring all this out, and um, I hope it gives you some understanding on how the hoppers work and everything that's going on. I did give you guys some pictures and here's a little description and I do hope it helps. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Leave a like or comment below and if you think I can improve on something, let me know that as well and I'll see what I can do about improving. Okay guys, thanks again. Take care and have a good one.